tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. After Buzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everybody and welcome to After Buzz TV. This is the after show for Castle and this is season 7 episode 11 Castle PI. And welcome back everybody. It's been a few weeks since uh, we had our little hiatus. It's been forever. I feel like it's been months. Yeah. No, like it literally feels like that. It's been what? I think actually it's been 3 weeks. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really been no, that long. I don't like it. But we're back. And we're so happy to be back, everyone. So welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, tonight's episode, I actually really enjoyed because it wasn't cheesy. Yeah, <laughs> no, <way>. I completely <laughs> agree. It was actually really good and also kind of short. Yes. In my brain, like there wasn't as much excitement. Yeah. As I was expecting, but at the same time, we just got back. So I wasn't expecting it to be, to jump right into True. craziness. So I feel like in the four or so episodes leading into the hiatus, there was so much information mm -hmm. thrown at us in like an hour span. We're like, wait, what? What just happened? Yeah, Who's I completely who? agree. Like there was way too much going on. So I'm glad we kind of stepped back. And slowed down a slowed little bit. Slowed down a little yeah, bit. I agree. It was a good episode. Yeah. Um, and we got to kind of see how Castle's going to, you know, do his little PI business I mean, now, I guess. I love how we were going to, like, I think if we go back to the old, not the old episode, but the the show that we did before that, you know, we were sitting there like, oh, maybe he'll be out of her way a little bit more. Mm -hmm. No, they were practically together this yeah. whole time, which was totally fine totally with me. fine yeah so i was okay with that but in my brain i was like i wonder if they're gonna change it up and he was gonna be by himself or mm -hmm. you know be separated the whole time but no i mean they worked well together and it was really cute and they really took it to mm -hmm. a whole new level which we'll get into later oh yeah we got a little <laughs> nikki heated tonight yes we did <laughs> and you know <laughs> okay so and we also got a death obviously well yeah i mean, I mean it wouldn't wah, be wah. castle no. without <laughs> wah, wah. uh shana bark baker um who is a I guess in New York City, the preschool is basically like the feeder into the elementary mm -hmm. school, the junior high, the high school, and your college ultimately. So if you don't get into the right preschool, you're not going to Harvard, basically. Yeah, that's pretty much just like, it, it's just one of those like, you know, the start line of your track to getting into a good education, which in my brain, you know, like I know this is going to be completely off topic. I feel like it doesn't matter what school you go to. It depends on like your teachers. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously if the school is good, the teachers are good, but I've been to schools that were you know on paper they looked bad but i had really good teachers mm -hmm. that pushed me into the right direction but that's that's something else yeah. that we don't have to get into but i understood how you know the fact that this school was like the highest it's one of the highest schools the mm -hmm. feeder schools i guess is what they call them yeah and Shayna baker is the admissions director so which she's is a tough job a tough job yeah. she's the one determining if you're getting in or not and yeah. so high stress i'm sure a lot of people don't like her mm -hmm. a lot of people love her mm -hmm. but you know she's kind of trying to work this balance um mm -hmm. with these parents and tonight in the episode, she's basically, she comes home and you can tell like in the first five seconds that she's like, you know, stressed out. She mm -hmm. pours herself a drink. She's like shaking as she's drinking. Yeah, and you're like, thing. oh my like, gosh, oh. like, are you that stressed out? Like, at first I thought she was like a flight attendant. Maybe she had a rough yeah. flight or something. Yeah. But I guess maybe that was like her uniform for the preschool or whatever. I couldn't really see it. But yeah, I, my first thing was that she probably works for an airline. Yeah. So and that, was, that was where I was at. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, well, she must have had a stressful job, you know? Yeah. And um, next thing you know, she's being shot from the front and... It was so crazy because I mean, she just, she just turned around. There was just a shadow and I was just like what is happening yeah what's going on and the fact that like what the window was broken and then mm -hmm. you just showed up and she didn't even scream or anything it was just like yeah plow that's it done Start which is castle. so crazy when you said she didn't scream because i didn't really notice that at first i thought maybe it was just kind of too quick but now seeing the entire episode i'm like 
Oh, she wouldn't have screamed because she... She, yeah, I mean, she knew the person. She knew the person. Yeah. So, I mean, but that was my first reaction was like, okay, if someone's in my home and I didn't expect them to be there when I got there, especially with a broken, you know, pan mm-hmm. window, my first reaction would be like, oh my God, this is a person, you know, something like yeah. some sort of panic, but she didn't do that at all. No. Which again, makes more sense Makes now. more sense now. So, I don't know. That was, that was, that was where red flag for me. I was like, this is not good. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So, um, next thing we learn is that Shayna you know, she's getting these angry phone calls because she just had to send out yeah. her rejection letter. Which is not a great job. Not for a great anybody. job. Yeah. Yeah. So she has this guy parent who calls and basically says, that I was, know where you live. I'm coming after you. Like so scary. That was nuts. I was just like, No, no, nah, I don't like that job. Nope, yeah. Nope, nope, no, nope. thank you. Nope. <laughs> so I don't know. But um, we get a little taste now of the Castle P.I., mm-hmm. as he likes to call him. Yeah. Uh, so... I feel like, if, I feel like if, they didn't, if they didn't show that for the, for the, the you know, previ- you know mm-hmm. previously on this or anything like that, I think it would have been more of a surprise, because I yeah. felt like it would just end the episode of, la- or la- not, not technically last week's, but the last episode, they just ended it like, oh, I'll figure it out, you know? And then yeah. they opened with him being I a wish they would have done that. Yeah, I think I would have been like, what? what? <laughs> yeah, you know, but I mean, at the same time, we already knew it, so it wasn't as much as, as of uh, a shocker, but yeah. I, I was very surprised of how well played it was and obviously we all know how smart castle is totally so it was very cool to see that he was kind of like always like a step ahead mm-hmm. of you know kate esposito and ryan so i thought that was yeah. really cool and i love the fact that <laughs> that beckett and his whole family were kind of teasing him for you know not getting out of his clothes staying in his pajamas the last few weeks when in reality he was getting his pi license which and, I, I would like to know how do you yeah, go do you, about doing that is there like a slew of questions is it like you know match.com where you have to do like 50 <laughs> questions and you have to get them all right or something like that and they're like you're a pi like i don't know i think it's too easy to get licenses on on the internet now like some yeah. people can be ordained on the internet and you, you can know. get a license for anything on the internet, anything on the internet so i think it's kind of scary but also you know it works for castle works for castle because yeah. he actually legit knows what he's kind of doing yeah and he's had seven years of working yeah. technically on the force with kate so exactly. it kind of it kind of works i loved her reaction though like wait i thought you were playing video games yeah like, she's like what what, what do, do you mean, mean? <laughs> it was great i love it like you had no like i like it when esposito was like you had no idea yeah and she's like no like seriously i thought he was on his computer <laughs> i thought he was playing terror quest yeah <laughs> and i was like good job kate good job good job, <laughs> good job. you're paying attention to your husband yeah <laughs> Um, but we also, um, we meet a few people tonight and one of them is Brian Whitman Mm -hmm. and he seems to kind of have anger and rage problems to begin with. Yes. And he happens to be one of the parents who left an angry message on the voicemail of Shayna Baker. I hate the fact that he was like, oh, I was just a little overdramatic. No, you called her. Yeah. You called her the B word. And you said that you knew where she lived. That's really scary that you know that. Really scary. And the fact that you were like, you're not going to know that I'm coming. Really? Because you just told me you were coming. Yeah, so thanks for that, one. And two, why do you know where I live? You know? Creepy. Screw you. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, but this guy has so many issues and anger problems and mm-hmm. whatever. But he kind of is the first person that everyone kind of turns to as the killer in this. Well, I mean, he had the most motive. He had the motive. His mm-hmm. kid was rejected. And so it kind of made sense. You know, he wanted his kid in the best school when he wasn't he i just feel mad. like there should be more schools yeah. you know instead of sitting totally off to... topic though i saw a documentary on this one time about new york city preschools where it's legit like when they're a year or two old yeah they have to like take the kid in and like <laughs> like have an interview with this two-year-old <laughs> for the preschool but what it's questions most do you fast, ask i don't know it was the most fascinating documentary it's on netflix if anyone wants to watch i'm it. gonna watch it because i would like to know because would you ask a two-year-old so if you put how many do you know what shapes go in which hole and yeah. if you get it wrong like no nah, he can't come in yeah school. they have to like apply like it's college like to like 50 different preschools i mean i'm not i'm not saying that if you did go to a start you know one of those type <laughs> of feeder schools and you got into the best college good for you i yeah. just in my brain, I can't see myself interviewing a two-year-old going, okay, so do you know how to color in the lines? Yeah. 
Because if you don't, you're I'm sorry, out. Mr. And Mrs. Johnson, this isn't going to work. He doesn't know his difference from green to blue. No. Sorry. Like, you can't do that. I hey, would be heartbroken. I went to a cool preschool. Look at me. I turned out okay. I was. I think. I found a pre. My mom found a preschool and both my aunts were working there. I was happy. There you go. Because they brought me special lunches. And I was like, <laughs> best school ever. Oh, my God. The school lunches in preschool? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I don't know. But, I, you know, that was off topic. But I'm going to end up watching that. Because yeah. I've, I've never heard I'll of that before. I'll have to figure out the name of it again. But you can just Google it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually really it's actually really popular. That's how I found it. All right. Good Got to it. know. I'm going to write that on my list for new Netflix <laughs> stuff. Thank you. Um, so next thing we find out is that the days before Shayna Baker died, there was some kind of like weird things that she did. She took out $3,000 cash, yep. which obviously was all of her savings, not yep. a normal transaction she makes. And red flag number one. <laughs> red flag number one. She Castle actually found out by visiting the morgue, like he wasn't supposed to, um, that she I'm still flew. trying to figure out how... We, it's the same thing as the last episode. How are people just getting in and out of the precinct without like, people knowing? <laughs> do you guys have, like, little scanner cards that you have to, like, get in and out? Maybe he has one. Maybe it wasn't turned off. I don't know. I mean, but, I isn't mean, there, on. like... Shouldn't the cops know who's who's in the precinct going, Hey, I just saw Castle walk into the morgue. Yeah. Or maybe they haven't all been notified just yet, and so they're like, Oh, it's just Castle. Okay, let I mean, do I'm, again, wants. I'm not nitpicking. I'm just, just pointing We're out just, just, little, just little things of my curiosity where I'm like, is anybody there? I yeah. mean, I understood that, you know, uh, I always forget because uh, I'm so used to Laney being in the morgue. I don't know. Yeah, this, I can't this remember other guy. that guy's name either. Well, I don't like him. I mean, not the actor. I don't like his character. <laughs> That's really mean. Like, I, I really don't, don't like, him. like you. No, I mean, I don't like his character because obviously he's always mean to Castle, mm-hmm. but um, I, I understood, like, okay, he's not there because he went out to lunch. He stepped out to get something, mm-hmm. lab work, whatever, you know, but I'm like, is everybody gone like yeah what's going on? but i i understand what you're saying that the fact that maybe everybody just didn't know yeah they're like oh it's just castle just doing his thing whatever. exactly they probably just kind of figure out okay whatever He's yeah back whatever i don't know i don't know but that, that was my first thing i was just like what is happening why is everybody just letting castle roam around here? yeah and i like that esposito said he's like how did he get in there and i was just like exactly exactly was we not- don't know <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. So he finds out, yeah, that uh, she traveled mm-hmm. and she went to Boston. Boston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was from the peanuts or something in her stomach. Yes. He, when he did the, yeah, the airline peanuts. Yeah. Mm. Which is totally smart. I mean, I would have never thought of never that. Never thought of that. It wouldn't be just like, oh, maybe she was just eating peanuts. Maybe she had some old airline peanuts yeah. just sitting around the house. Which is like, oh, snack. Yeah. So I, I do that. I do that too. <laughs> so I mean, that's that is smart though. I never thought about that. I like that. I like that this 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 show teaches me little things like that. Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's interesting. Um, before we move on, though, we want to um, let you guys know to rate us five stars, five pretty stars. please, on iTunes. And if you're on YouTube, um, make sure to comment down below and give us questions. And we will respond, tweet us, whatever. I know that from last week's episode that a lot of people were also on the same boat as us. They were like, we thought Esposito was going to totally propose and it just made me so I'm sad. I'm still upset about this. <laughs> yeah, so there's, if you could see oh. iTunes people, that there's, there's just steam. I can see it off the top of her head and she's so upset. Last week, remember I threw my paper? Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do it again, except for I need my notes. After. We'll do it after. I'll give you some extra paper and you can do confetti. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm, I'm on the same boat. That was that was definitely a little a little twist that kind of threw me off. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad that everybody else felt the same way. So I'm glad too. Yeah. It wasn't just me and my anger problem. No, no, we're all we're all outraged. Yes. <laughs> um. So, um, new character uh, Nicole Morris. Um, yes. We met her. She's an attorney, and um, she was I guess friends with Shayna or contacted, or contacted by, by Shayna somehow they knew each other enough yeah. to go to lunch with each other mm-hmm. and so I think they're a little bit more than acquaintances not quite sure but uh Nicole mentioned that when they went to lunch that Shayna was asking her like different types of murders like second degree first degree what are um you know felony charges mm-hmm. for such and such and such and such how many years are you going to go to prison for certain things like just totally like nutty questions that you normally like a, don't yeah, a ask a person, person ask. at lunch i mean mm-hmm. that's just kind of like red flags again yeah like, so, so you know how, you know how many years does it take for you know someone who you know you know committed a murder also do you like the dressing on the yeah salad? Like, exactly like that's <laughs> how do you not just, like, like typical lunch conversation like 
<laughs> okay. Um, I love that. But I think some, I may have missed this, but I think somehow there was the mention of Radnor University in their lunch conversation. Yes, because it had to do with her ex-boyfriend. Yes. Which was, I felt like that was kind of left field and out of nowhere, but it did tie the whole the whole case together. Yeah. I, at first when I heard that, I was like, what does this have to do with the case at all? I didn't even realize that she was even seeing anybody serious about anybody at that point it was it was a strange term yeah but i like that how it ended so, so i think I, I mean correct me if i'm wrong but i think maybe shana had said she was going to boston to visit radnor university and i believe so i might have missed that one because i was writing yeah i was, I was writing, writing down too so i yeah. just have a little teeny tiny note here on it but um i, I thought it was kind of weird too that the, at the same little kind of situation castle then pops up and he's like in the office like hey this is my new office i just love the like, fact that he has an office yeah i think that's great i thought he was gonna be working from home like that yes. was my honest prediction that i was like okay he's he's gonna have his own little it's gonna be in his office where he writes in the apartment yeah but now he has a nice little he's legit he's yeah. a legit pi you guys i love it because it was just reminding me of like the 1920s and 30s how it has like that right? really like foggy looking door and yes. like you know lady justice just walked in and i didn't know what to say to her you yeah. know that kind of thing and <laughs> yeah. i was like yes. i love it um <clears throat> excuse me so this is kind of where um i don't know it's it cut in pretty much after after the meeting with with morris is the fact that we went back to it's kind of weird because the fact that it was more of castle and kate after that and yeah. that's where the cat and mouse chase kind of exactly was playing around because it, when you know uh it was castle having dinner with uh, with alexis and then kate was with ryan and esposito and they were just kind of like they know something you mm-hmm. know and they try to do that really awkward call so awkward i was just like so did you learn anything from that? But of course, they know each other well enough that they were like, "She's hiding something." Oh, he's hiding oh, something. Yeah. So you know, of course, they tried to try to get each other drunk. Yes, on the same bottle like, of wine. I was dying. I was just like, "That's a." Remember when when she when we first saw the two glasses? I was like, yeah. "That's a lot of wine." Yeah, before they even say, we're like, "Geez, that's a whole glass." Like that's I thought like that was for her. It's like four glasses right there. I thought she was so stressed out that she was going to drink that whole glass, <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, Kate." You need to slow down a yeah. little bit. But no, then she gave it to Castle, and I was just like... Whoa. But I love the fact that they didn't even really drink the the wine that they just went for it. <laughs> well, I mean, it was... I mean, I don't know if they stopped and then drank after or yeah. whatever, because we, we obviously don't get to see we that because they cut to commercial. But yeah, I love that cute little playfulness that they had. Yes. And I love that they were, you know, they, they were bouncing off of each other and ideas, and then it just... There it is. Yeah, and it was like... <laughs> it was like the two of them, like old times... You know, when they're solving all these crimes and stuff. Um, I don't know. I think it was just a huge flirtation game. This totally. whole episode. Yes. I don't know how you guys felt about it, but that's how I felt. I was like, okay, so you guys are just flirting this whole time, playing little cutesy games. Yeah. I mean, at, you know, solving a murder. But it's, just, it's pretty much just like the first season. I have to say, though, I'm a little disappointed in the fact that her and Castle were playing these little flirty games, hooking up, whatever. And at two in the morning, she texts. Yeah, she texts Ryan. <laughs> Go check the files because she was what? looking for her ex boyfriend's um, uh, yeah. suicide or attempt. Yes, yeah, so or come, accident. To, come to find out, Shayna asked Whitman to get her meeting with the dean mm-hmm. at the university, and the dean said that the um, that Shayna wanted the police file. So this is kind of all the information that was thrown out at them. <laughs> Sorry, really? Though? I was just thinking of Castle's reaction when he's like, "You found what? Did you say files? Yeah. Are you talking about the files?" Wait, did you text Ryan yes. last night? <laughs> I would have been so mad just like Castle. Like, that is so it wrong. It was pretty rude. I'm not going to lie. But I thought it was really funny how she's like, I got to go. Yeah. Put my pants back on. <laughs> like, she's like, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I got to go. Love you. <laughs> like, He's walk like, out. I thought oh, it was great. No, you didn't. I thought it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was like my favorite part. Besides him getting pepper sprayed earlier in the episode by that guy. Oh, my God. We totally forgot about that. that was- I was going to bring it back. I was going to bring it back. Oh Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles is my favorite out of everybody in here. And she didn't even do anything. <laughs> I know. The whole time I was thinking about Sparkles, I was like, my dog could totally do this, you guys. She could be the next movie star. Yeah. Yeah, she had some good. She got some good screen time. <laughs> she I did. She had like three. Sparkles had a lot of screen time tonight, and I was like, oh, "How do I get my dog on the show?" I don't even know how that works. I would like to. If you guys know, write it in the comments. My dog has an Instagram, below. people. Hey, follow it. Wait, what's your dog's name? Um, her name is Bella. It's at Bella the Pirate. 
She's really cute. She I thought she was one kidding. eye. I thought she was definitely. Wait, what? Yes, you guys should follow her for sympathy. For her one eye. <laughs> You're so weird, Heather. I know. I love you, but you're so weird. Okay, so, yes, we find out. Yeah, okay, well, we skipped that. But the fact that, I don't know if you guys loved it, but I love that he was, someone who's usually pepper sprayed is usually, like, out for, not, like, knocked out, but they're just like, I'm in pain for, like, a yeah. really long time. But he kind of just was like, ah pepper spray. And then that was, like, it. That was it. And then he, like, was like, wash you. I'm like, don't you have to, like, actually, like, wash it, not just, like, I'm just gonna wipe it down you know, a little little splash of water and I'm good to go like I thought I don't know but I mean we don't really know how like high the concentration of pepper spray it was but it was really True. funny how he was just like oh sorry I got mugged last week I'm like ah, New York <laughs> right <laughs> and so crazy that that was her friend who was babysitting sparkles because she randomly said she had to go on the trip which is actually the reason why we found out also that she was going that's somewhere. right that's how cancel uh, cancel cancel <laughs> castle. Castle. castle found out and yeah. you know and figured out that oh she traveled yeah but going back to that yes they're obviously they're i always found their sex drive really weird i know that we we were just on that topic but i just love how their murder is what i mean that's yeah. the whole point of the show what, but like, i mean i just think it's funny to watch how they're just like oh someone was murdered but god you're hot like yeah. it's so it's weird. fantastic i love it but anyway so we, anyway so we they, uh, we find out that these uh, police files were tampered with. Yes. And um, and there was an article. There was an article mm-hmm. that Frank Jackson wrote way back in the day, like 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. And Castle, being the writer, mm-hmm. figures out that there's an ad that's placed on the front page above the fold. And like that. Never, I would have never saw that. I would never like never thought, thought about that. that. And so. Smart apparently the article had been chopped and so that was the reason why they had to put that ad in there because normally you don't put ads there right. um and so he actually goes and meets with this frank guy who's now kind of a big time journalist mm-hmm. and says hey dude like what the heck and at first oh yeah i even wrote it literally yeah. says i wish you guys can see it in my notes it's in big bold letters it's a trap <laughs> yeah we said that we're like this guy is fishy like and he's like look at him we're like let's go somewhere private and talk like and i was like no no, no castle, you're no. gonna go in the alleyway and he's going to kill you no don't go but Man. then they show up at the precinct and i'm like what but i like how they were they they showed us too that like oh my god this this guy might be dangerous you need to you yes know, i need to call him please yes, answer they your gave phone. us that like scare moment too and he was totally fine totally harmless like i actually wanted to help yeah and i'm glad to be honest yeah but i mean it's kind of crazy for this guy though because he was kind of like you know didn't want to be mm-hmm. part of this whole you know murder of well, her ex-boyfriend because yeah, he didn't want to lose his 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 journalism career exactly like, like basically like you know somebody who we find out later is the father of another guy mm-hmm. um you know basically calls at frank and says if you don't delete this from your story i'm going to ruin your career but if you remove it i will help you in your career which is what he did which, which is what he did i don't blame him and i'm sure that's weighed heavily on him this entire 15 years you know and so yeah when someone finally came to him he was like phew sigh of relief yeah and he and he and they obviously knew that they you know that he wasn't gonna get into much trouble from it just because the fact that you know it's one it's been 15 years yeah. two he didn't really do anything besides obviously just to hide the fact that yeah. he had a hunch that was there just, was somebody up yeah there with it him. was just bad journalism yeah. i mean it wasn't like he did something wrong yeah so i mean but i understand because i would be in the same boat where i'd be like yeah i think i'll just just take that to my grave and just leave it yeah leave it there forever so i i completely understand with his situation but it did end up becoming a better thing because it helped with the investigation exactly um so so this this part i was writing most of the notes so you're gonna have to take over for that one okay (laughs) this is where it gets kind of crazy so basically what happened is elliot or spalding elliot elliot spalding Mm -hmm. was basically framed Essentially, yes. he it gets all crazy because they have to get That's his why DNA. I, I couldn't and follow. And oh well, that was the other part that I was gonna talk about. How Ryan and Espo were such big jerks. Jerks. Yeah, but Castle I mean, was there first. I know, but you know, he's not technically supposed to be there. True. So, um, but yeah, the they found out that they needed his DNA. They got it from a cup, mm-hmm. which Castle saw first in yeah. the trash can, and they just. Took it. It just took it. And I was like, mm. but the DNA matched a cigarette that was found at the crime scene on Shayna's balcony. Okay, 
Again, this might be nitpicky. Sorry, guys. But in my brain, my first point was, so we didn't check the cigarette for DNA? No? Nobody? They did. Oh, they did? Okay, yeah. so I missed that completely. Yes. So it was his cigarette. cigarette. Right. And it had um, traces of barbecue sauce on it. That's which right. Which they traced. They asked him, when did you have barbecue or whatever? He said, like, three days ago or whatever it was. Yeah. So they go to that barbecue place. And they look at the they security, look at the security camera. camera. And see that he, of course, had it there, put it in the thing. And that's when Nicole Morris comes up and takes the cigarette. I wasn't expecting her to be the... I was not expecting her at all. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. I definitely thought that he did it until they brought in Sparkles into the yes. um, the precinct. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, he's he's it. Why are you here, Castle? And yeah. he just starts... With, I love how he's just like throwing... Hair at dog like, dander at I'm him. like, oh my god, is this guy gonna die? Like, is breaking out in hives I everywhere? love how, like, uh, what was it? Kate was just like, oh yeah, he's faking it. And yeah. all of a sudden he does that big sneeze and you just see just giant welts on his face. And I was like, holy. Is that even possible for someone to be that allergic? That's crazy. I mean, I'm going to assume that there was probably a point in time, or there are people out there that probably get hives, like, automatically. Because uh -huh. I know that if I'm in uh, regular uh, grass for too long, I start to break out in, like, tiny little hives. But oh. it's, it's not instant, but definitely five, ten minutes later, uh -huh. I'll be scratching oh and gosh. you just see them. And they're absolutely terrible. So I'm like... Long sleeves in the grass or just lots of blankets. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm just going to assume that for the sake of just the show, they just needed him to have, like, a hyperactive yeah. allergy to dogs. And that was... Well, I mean, also, Castle was throwing it throwing at him. Throwing at his face. So, and, and he's, and, like, and he, all in his eyes. And he wasn't even stopping. He was just like, look, guys, look. And I was just like, stop. Okay, give me a break now. Oh, I felt so bad for him. But his sneezing acting was on point. <laughs> oh, it was fantastic. I loved it. It was, like, it, it was great. Yeah. Absolutely great. Um, So we're going to get into a little bit of news and gossip really quick oh <laughs> it's okay that's i actually some, like this music that's kind of depressing <laughs> news and gossip and this is happy news and gossip After Buzz TV news. <laughs> so this isn't really like big news and gossip and i don't know if you guys noticed it but heather and i definitely noticed that the fact that nathan villian has been looking pretty a plus yeah he's been looking pretty in shape i wish we had a picture to show but it's yeah. it's not a big deal don't worry about it um but the fact that, you know, I noticed, I think, in season six and a little bit of season seven, he was getting a little chubbier. And it wasn't, you know, I don't really care how he looks. I'm just, I severely noticed. He looked like he, he had lost some pounds. He's lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. So, and I think he looks great either way. Yeah. And we just we just wanted to know if you guys noticed it, because we definitely We definitely did. noticed it. Yeah. But I know that he's, he's taking on more roles. And, you know, I don't know if he has another action flick coming up or anything like that. But he's looking good. So. Yay! After buzz approval from the both of us. <laughs> Just saying. Love you, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get into some predictions. Yes, please. <laughs> and now, your After Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> so, ah. next week, uh, we... <laughs> I'm okay. I'm sorry. Are I'm still okay? thinking of Nathan. <laughs> oh, she's getting hot and bothered, you guys. Sorry. Um, so what are your predictions for next week? Okay, so we saw the, on the um, previews for next week that there is a... He's kind of doing the whole, like I said earlier, with the 20s, kind of like, you know, Lady Justice is coming uh -huh. in. And I didn't, you know, that kind of thing. And he actually has his first client, mm -hmm. which I'm happy to see. Apparently, she lost a very expensive purse. Yeah. Which looked fantastic. Fancy. Yeah. And apparently, according to the announcer, that it might be his last. Mm -hmm. So... I don't, they didn't really give us anything, so yeah. I can't really predict what's going to happen. Obviously, Castle's going to get in trouble, like he usually does. I don't know if they're going to keep up the whole him just showing up at the precinct every time he gets something that they're on the same page, mm -hmm. um, or if they're going to do like a typical race, because that's kind of what I was hoping for this one, because they weren't really racing. They were just kind of in disbelief that it was happening at all. Yeah. So I'm hoping that maybe they do like a bet. Yeah. Or something, which would kind of, like, make it more exciting. And and then, obviously, they find out Castle's missing again. And then, you know, they have to save him. Mm -hmm. The usual stuff. That's just my prediction. I I would like to see Castle actually solve something. Like, on his own? On his own, where, you know, Kate and Espo and all them, they actually need him. And he actually comes to the rescue and solves yeah. it. And then Sir's like, oh, my gosh. 
we need you back. I mean, I think she started I to mean, notice because there, there was that slightly. one. Yeah, because there was that one scene where she was leaning up against the her. her I was just waiting hallway. for it. I, I thought like, she was gonna start yelling. Well, I, I mean, she I did. I mean, she did. But I mean, I was expecting her, her to interrupt way before. way before. Yeah, yeah. And she kind. I mean, she did here and there, like you know, like what is he doing here? What do you mean he's a PI now? But yeah. I feel like she still lets him wean in here and there. Yeah, I I mean, I don't think they can go on too long with this. I think maybe two more episodes max, and they're going to have to bring him I'm going to say at least three. Three? Yeah, okay. at least three. I mean, I would be surprised if they do go more than two. Yeah. I mean, this one already counts as one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say at least three more plus the one that we just saw. Okay. And, and hopefully, and I don't know, there has to be a big giant case for like either the mayor or the or was it the da right yeah the da the da to just be like you know what he's already <gasps> doing his own what wonder if the da gets in trouble oh <gasps> that would and be castle gets him out that would be perfect i know i didn't even think about that God, it has to happen genius <laughs> i didn't even think about that <laughs> um but no i like i like that prediction i'm definitely gonna hop on that bandwagon because yeah i didn't think about that i definitely thought it was gonna be the captain yeah. I thought that maybe she would get in trouble in some... I mean, I've noticed that in the last Captain, she Captain kept, Montgomery... She, kept, she blamed it on, um, like, the DA, though, like, a couple times in this episode where it's, like, it wasn't her decision. You yeah, know? It's, it's it's his. Yeah. And, you know, how they all don't mind him being there. But I think it'd be really cool to see all the higher-ups mm-hmm. getting taken. DA, you know, are, you know, Sir and a bunch of other people that maybe, like, Castle's the only one. Yeah. Who can do it. Or if they all get captured together. I was just gonna say yeah. that. If they all get, get captured, captured together, together. Like, they take over the, the precinct or something <laughs> or some sort of, like, press conference and Castle's the only one that can get them out. <laughs> because he doesn't work there. Yep. <laughs> Could happen. Hey, Could happen. I think those are really good predictions. Um, So, tweet us your predictions. Where can they find you on social media? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at a Torres, A T O R R E S 890. And you can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Heather Joy Smith. So we will see you guys back here next week. Have a great week. Bye, Castle fans. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.